We thank you for sharing 15 minutes of your routine time with us right here as we kneel at the feet of Jesus. We believe the Lord is honoring these sacrifices as we stand in great expectation of the powerful move of God through our prayers. We welcome back all of our returning callers and listeners on this morning. Today we're going to come from the book of Matthew, chapter 16, verses 13 through 19, and I'm reading that from the Living Bible. <clears throat> Matthew, chapter 16, verses 13 through 19. <clears throat> And our prayer focus on this morning, the gates of hell shall not prevail. When Jesus came to Philippi, he asked his disciples, who are the people saying I am? Well, they replied, some say John the Baptist, some Elijah, some Jeremiah, or one of the other prophets. Then he asked them, Who do you think I am? Simon Peter answered, The Christ, the Messiah, the Son of the living God. God has blessed you, Simon, son of Jonah, said Jesus, for my Father in heaven has personally revealed this to you. This is not from any human source. You are Peter, a stone, and upon this rock I will build my church, and all the powers of hell shall not prevail against it. And I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever doors you lock on earth shall be locked in heaven, and whatever doors you open on earth shall be open in heaven." God, we thank you this morning, God. We thank you for the power of prayer on this morning, God. We thank you, God, that we're giving you the fruit of our lips on this morning, God. We blow kisses to you this morning, God. You are great and mighty, God. You are a worthy God. God, you're awesome to us, oh God. You're faithful, oh God. You're just, God. You're loving, oh God. You're patient with us, oh God. We thank you, oh God, for being a God of many opportunities, God. We thank you for being a God of newness and freshness, O oh God. We thank you, O oh God, for reigning on the just and the unjust, God. Jesus, we thank you for sitting at the right hand of the Father, interceding for each and every one of us, for you are the great intercessor. We thank you, God, for being our example of righteous living, God. You're our example of holiness, oh God. We thank you, oh God, for you are worthy of all of our praises on today, oh God. We thank you for the activity of our limbs this morning, God. We thank you for our right mind as we rose up this morning, God. We thank you for a mindset to worship you, oh God. We thank you for a mindset to seek your face, O oh God. We thank you for a mindset to trust you, O oh God, to depend on your word, God, to have faith, God, in and through our prayers, O oh God. We thank you for our mindset on this morning, God. We're asking that you forgive us, O oh God. Forgive us for everything that we've said, God, everything that we've done, God, our ill foul thoughts. God, our moments of immaturity, oh God, our rebelliousness, God, our disobedience, oh God, we're asking that you forgive us on today, God. Will you have mercy upon us, oh God? Blot out the stains of our sins. It is against you, God, and you alone have we sinned. God, we have done what is evil in your sight. We were born sinners, God, even at the time of concern in our mother's womb, but it is you, God, that desire honesty, honesty from our heart so that you can teach us, oh God, 
to be wise in our innermost beings. Wash us this morning, God. Cleanse us. Purge us with your hyssop. Make us whiter than snow, God. Create in us a clean heart, God. Renew a right spirit within us, God. Don't ban us from your presence, oh God. Don't remove your spirit away from us, oh God. But we ask this morning that you will restore, restore unto us, God, the joy of your salvation. Make us willing to obey you, for it is obedience that is better than sacrifice. God, but there is a sacrifice that you desire, and that is a broken spirit and a repentant heart, God. Unseal these lips, God, so that we may praise you and teach sinners your ways. And your word said that they will return back unto you, God. We thank you for the power of your word, God. The word that we have yoked around our necks, oh God. The word that we have committed to speak out of our mouths, oh God. We thank you, oh God, for the anointing that's in your word, oh God. In the name of Jesus, thank you for the continual thirst, God. The continual hunger after you, oh God. In the name of Jesus, we're declaring on this morning, God. God, that the gates of hell shall not prevail, God. We thank you this morning, God, that we can pour those things down, God, that be not like you, oh God. We thank you, oh God, that we can pour down the strongholds, oh God. We can pour down the weapons of the enemy, oh God. We thank you this morning, God, for reminding us of the ineffectiveness, oh God, of the enemy, God, for reminding us, God, of the various ways that he works Oh, God, we understand on this morning, God, that Satan is the father of lies, God. There is no truth in him. We ought not to get caught up in the lies, God. We ought not to get caught up in the deception because he is a master deceiver. In the mighty name of Jesus, he make good things look evil and evil things look good. God, we will not be twisted in our our minds, God. We will stand flat footed, God, firmly on the word of God. We won't sway back and forth and being tossed to and fro, God. We will eat on the meat of your word, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we will be cautious, God, because we understand that lies are appealing to our flesh. God, but we thank you, God, that the flesh is weak, God, but the spirit man is willing, God. So on today, God, we thank you, oh God, that you're showing us, oh God, that the enemy blinds the minds of believers, God. You said that in your word, God, in 2 Corinthians, oh God, that the enemy blinds the mind of, oh, of believers, oh God, that we are attracted, oh God, by the money, God, the power and the pleasure, oh God, that has lured us away from the light of Jesus Christ. We're asking, oh God, God, that we will be content, God, in the state that you have blessed us in, oh God. We won't desire more, God, that you do not have for us to have, oh God. We thank you for what you've given us, oh God. We thank you for what you've loaned unto us, oh God. We thank you for trusting us, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. God, we understand that the enemy is masquerading around in the costume, oh God, of light in righteousness, oh God. We will not be deceived, oh God. We will put on the discerning of the discernment of spirits, oh God. We will discern, God, what that is true, oh God, and that is false, oh God, because we understand that there are a lot of false prophets, oh God. There are a lot of false teachers, oh God. There are a lot of false preachers, oh God. You said in your word, oh God, but today, oh God, we thank you, God, that we study the word for ourselves, oh God, a workman that need him not be ashamed, but rightly dividing the word of truth, God, so that we can see and understand, God, when we hear the word, God, being missed quoted, oh God, when we see the word being misled, oh God, we thank you, oh God, that you're giving us the wisdom, oh
oh God, to be able to do, to shun away from those false things, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. God, we thank you, oh God, that you're showing us, oh God, that the enemy is plotting sins, oh God, everywhere in our lives, oh God. He comes to steal, kill, and destroy, God. But today, God, we're going to recognize how he plays on our vulnerabilities. He plays on our weak spots, oh God. So today, God, we place a guard over those areas in our lives, God, where we find ourselves weak, oh God, where we find ourselves continuing to fall into the same sin over and over and over again. God, we thank you, oh God, for helping us on today, oh God, that we will have true victory, God, total deliverance over those things, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We understand that the enemy attacks us, oh God, when we are famished, oh God, when we're hungry, God, we're hungry for more of you, God, but we choose not to feed on you, oh God. Help us today, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. When we're irritable, God, the enemy attacks on that, God, because when we're irritable, God, and when we're frustrated, oh God, we open up the door to negativity, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Put a guard over these lips, oh God. We ask that we will speak the power of life, oh God, and not death, God, out of our mouths, oh God. We know, God, that when we place ourselves in a gullible situation, God, that the enemy attacks, oh God, whatever we open ourselves up to, he is going to feed on that. So if we open ourselves up to lies, he's going to feed on that. On that. If we open ourselves up to pride, he's going to feed on that as well. So we're thanking you today, God, that we will create an atmosphere, God, of the glory and the presence of God in the mighty name of Jesus. God, we're putting on your full armor today, God. We're putting on the belt of truth, oh God, the truth of your word, oh God, the truth that would be displayed through the activity of our limbs, oh God, the lifestyle style that we live, oh God. We're putting on the breastplate of righteousness, oh God. We're going to trust you, oh God, and we're going to determine in our minds to do the right thing, God, because the gates of hell will not pre prevail, God. We're putting on the shield of faith today, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we will have faith that we will not fear. We will have faith that we will not doubt, but we're trusting you on today, God. We will continue to tell ourselves, God, that we shall trust in the Lord. We shall not be fearful in the mighty name of Jesus as we're calming our anxious minds, oh God, as we're declaring those things, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you this morning, God, that we're putting on the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. We're armed with the word of God on today. Your word is hidden in our our heart that we might not sin against you. So we're declaring this morning, God, we're declaring, God, that this is our year of recovery, God. We're declaring on this morning that the gates of hell will not prevail against us in the mighty name of Jesus. When Jesus came to Philippi, he asked his disciples, who are the people saying I am? Well, they replied, some say John the Baptist, some Elijah, some Jeremiah, or one of those other prophets. Then he asked them, who do you think I am? Simon Peter answered, the Christ, the Messiah, the son of the living God. God has blessed you, Simon, son of Jonah, Jesus said, for my father in heaven has personally revealed this to you. This is not from any human source. You are Peter, a Stone, and upon this rock I will build my church, and all the powers of hell shall not prevail against it. And I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever doors you lock on earth shall be locked in heaven, and whatever 
whatever doors you open on earth shall be open in heaven. God, we decree and declare all these things to be done, and so shall it be unto the glory of God. 